Hello friends, welcome to Tamil Nila Creations. Please subscribe to Tamil Nila Creations and click on the bell button. In this video, we are going to see about the Samsung Galaxy S21 vs iPhone 12 Pro Max. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra vs iPhone 12 Pro Max battle is the one that many phone shoppers have been waiting for, as it fits the very best phones that Samsung and Apple have against each other. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra shows just how impressive a flagship Samsung has produced and it should be for $1,199. You get a gorgeous 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED display that scales from 10Hz to 120Hz, dual telephoto zoom lenses, and a huge 5000mAh battery. Plus, the S21 Ultra supports the S Pen, a first for a phone outside of the Galaxy Note lineup. On the other hand, as you'll see in our iPhone 12 Pro Max, there's a reason why Apple's phone has been the number one pick on the best phone lip. It offers an amazing camera system with superb low-light performance and Dolby Vision video record. Plus, it offers a stellar 6.7-inch OLED display, the fastest performance around, and a sleek new design. So which phone is best overall, and which one is better for you? Galaxy S21 Ultra vs iPhone 12 Pro Max face-off will answer these questions. Samsung has cut the price on its Galaxy S21 phones by $200 compared to the S20, but Apple still holds the pricing edge here. The iPhone 12 Pro Max starts at $1,099 to $100 cheaper than the Galaxy S21 Ultra's $1,199 cost. However, it's less expensive to boost the storage on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, where upgrading to the 256GB version costs an extra $50. You need to pay an extra $100 for the 256GB iPhone 12 Pro Max. The 512GB Galaxy S21 Ultra is also cheaper than the equivalent iPhone 12 Pro Max, $1,379 versus $1,399. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra sports a new contour cut camera design that blends the camera into its glass back. It's a sleek look, but the Ultra is still a beast of a phone. At 6.5 x 2.97 x 0.35 inches and 8.08 ounces, it's taller, thicker, and heavier than the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which measures measures 6.33 by 3.07 by 0.29 inches and weighs 8.03 ounces. I also prefer the flat edges of the iPhone 12 Pro Max to the curved sides of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The S21 Ultra comes in phantom silver and phantom black from carriers, but you can get navy, titanium, or brown through Apple offers silver, graphite, gold, and Pacific blue for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has an advantage in terms of durability and water resistance. The ceramic shield display on the iPhone is designed to offer four times the drop performance of its predecessor, and it has performed well in various drop tests. Samsung doesn't make any such claims for the Gorilla Glass Victus screen on its phone. In addition, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a higher IP68 water resistance rating of up to 6 meters, compared to 1.5 meters for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The biggest strike against the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the display notch. The S21 Ultra has a small punch hole camera up front. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a few advantages over the iPhone 12 Pro Max in this round. For one, it offers an adaptive AMOLED display that can scale its refresh rate from 10 Hz all the way up to 120 Hz, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max is stuck at 60 Hz. Having a faster refresh rate enables smoother scrolling and better performance in games that support it. The 6.8-inch screen on the S21 Ultra is also a bit sharper than the panel on the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a resolution of 3200 by 1400 compared to 2778 by 1284 That's a difference between 515 ppi and 458 ppi. Samsung keeps the winning streak going by registering a higher brightness on our testing. It notched a reading of 821 nits, compared to 654 nits for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Apple's display did pull ahead with its color reproduction, reaching 84.8% .8 of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The S21 Ultra managed 81.4%. The Galaxy S21 Ultra vs iPhone 12 Pro Max battle largely hinges on the cameras, and both phones are very well armed. The S21 Ultra packs four rear lenses, plus a laster autofocus sensor. There's a main 108MP camera, a 12MP ultra-wide camera, and dual 10MP telephoto lenses, one capable of 3x optical zoom and the other 10x. The iPhone 12 Pro Max features a main 12MP sensor, a 12MP ultra-wide camera, and a 12MP telephoto zoom lens with 2.5x optical zoom. There's also a litter sensor that helps with low-light photography and portraits. The cameras on the S21 Ultra and iPhone 12 Pro Max are both great, but they excel in different areas. 
The S21 Ultra wins hands down in zoom performance because its lenses simply push further. As you can see in this photo of lawn chairs across the street, the S21 Ultra gets you much closer to the subject than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. 30x zoom shot is perfectly usable, but the 100x zoom shot is too fuzzy. The iPhone 12 Pro Max image is decent at 12x zoom, but that's as far as Apple's cameras can go. Samsung's shot of these green peppers looks shiny and delicious, looks even more vibrant in the iPhone 12 Pro Max photo. Apple's phone has the edge here. I give the nod to the Galaxy S21 Ultra of trees. While both cameras deliver an impressive amount of detail in the bark and handle the shadows well, the S21 Ultra delivers more contrast and the trees pop more against the blue sky. Samsung says it has also improved the portrait mode on the S21 by leveraging AI to better separate the subject from the background. The S21 Ultra delivers a great bokeh effect here. However, I slightly prefer the iPhone 12 Pro Max pick because of the warmer skin tone. The S21 Ultra blows out my face on the right side a bit. The Galaxy S21 Ultra also performs quite well in low light thanks to a faster bright night sensor and 12MP Nona binning technology for reducing noise reduction. In this comparison you can make out more of the stones and bushes in the foreground in the S21 Ultra's photo. However, the colors in the iPhone 12 shot look more natural. Samsung's camera adds a gold, yellowish tinge in some cases. The iPhone 12 Pro Max pulls ahead in this photo of a golden retriever. The S21 Ultra's pick is overly bright and a bit washed out, while his fur is more golden and natural looking with the iPhone. The iPhone 12 Pro Max shot looks more realistic. This one is really close, but the Galaxy S21 does a slightly better job here rendering the vegetables in this chicken stir-fry meal. The peppers look a bit richer upon close inspection. On the selfie front, I prefer the photo captured by the iPhone 12 Pro Max here. My skin looks warmer and the grass a bit greener in the background. The S21 Ultra photo is certainly sharp, though. The Galaxy S21 Ultra packs a fast Snapdragon 888 chip and 12GB of RAM, but it's still a step behind the iPhone 12 Pro Max in both synthetic benchmarks and real-world tests. On Geekbench 5, the S21 Ultra notched 3440 on the multi-core test and 1123 on the single core. That's behind the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which cleared 4100 and 1600. The S21 Ultra performed fairly well on the 3D Mark Wildlife Graphics benchmark, hitting 34 FPS. However, the iPhone 12 Pro Max averaged a higher 41 FPS. On our video editing test using the Adobe Premiere Rush app, the Galaxy S21 Ultra took 1 minute and 2 seconds to transcode a 4K video to 1080p. The iPhone 12 Pro Max's needed only 28 seconds. Based on our testing thus far, the Galaxy S20 Ultra offers faster 5G speeds than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. One Ultra averaged 84 megabits per second downloads, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max didn't even break 37 megabits per second. In a different location on T-Mobile's network, the iPhone 12 Pro Max hit 93 megabits per second, while the Note 21 Ultra exceeded 160 megabits per second. The Galaxy S21 Ultra does have a newer and more powerful X60 Qualcomm modem, so that could account for the performance delta. The Galaxy S21 Ultra makes full use of its 5000 mAh battery, as the phone lasted a very impressive 11 hours and 25 minutes on our battery test. The iPhone 12 Pro Max endured for 1053. When we set the screen mode on the S21 Ultra to adaptive 120 Hz, the runtime dipped to 10 hours and 7 minutes. Neither Apple nor Samsung includes a charger in the box, but both phones are capable of fast charging. The S21 Ultra reached 56% in 30 minutes, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max only hit 47% in the same amount of time iOS 14 brings a host of welcome features to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, including widgets on the home screen for easy access to info, including a smart stack of several widgets in one spot, and the new app library feature automatically organizes your apps together by category. Apple's software also delivers lots of helpful tweaks to messages, such as pinned conversations and inline replies. The design of iOS 14 is sleeker, too, with a more compact Siri and calls interface that stays out of your way. And if you own AirPods Pro, the spatial audio feature gives you a 360-degree sound experience. The Galaxy S21 Ultra runs One UI 3.0 atop Android 11, and it brings some great additions of its own. This includes a wide selection of widgets you can access without unlocking your phone. The quick panel is now easier to customize get things done faster, and there are exclusive camera tricks like director's view, which lets you use the front and back camera at the same time with recording video. But the most unique special feature is S Pen support. 
the S21 Ultra has a digitizer for its display that supports S Pen input. However, you'll need to buy the $40 stylus separately along with a case to hold the S Pen. Samsung didn't include an S Pen slot in the body of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Apple and Samsung have never been so close. The iPhone 12 Pro Max narrowly wins this face-off with the Galaxy S21 Ultra based on the strength of its performance and better overall image quality. Its design is also a little more durable and easier to handle with its flat edges. However, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra gets the win in some important categories, thanks to its smoother 120Hz display, faster 5G, and longer battery life. And while the S21 Ultra costs more up front, it's a bit cheaper if you prefer more storage. No matter which flagship phone you choose in this Galaxy S21 vs iPhone 12 Ultra battle, you will not lose. That is it guys, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks. For watching see you on my next video one peace out.